22 rarest items in Fortnite you didn't know about. The Mythic Goldfish. It's one of the rarest items. Some players didn't even know you could fish. Now, this was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1, and since then, many players have just forgotten about it. Mainly because there's a 1 in a million chance of it getting fished. It's a golden trophy of a flopper that you throw at players instead of eating, and it'll instantly eliminate players. But you'd have better luck at winning the lottery than catching this. The Axe of Champions is insanely rare as well, because when they first introduced the FNCS, you didn't get anything but money for winning the tournament. This was weird because players at least wanted a skin or something, so Fortnite added the Axe of Champions. The only way to get this pickaxe is by winning the tournament, and players only get to keep this pickaxe for one season until someone else wins the tournament. You also have the Eye of the Storm Tracker. This is one of the fastest items to be added and then removed from Fortnite, because it only lasted about 30 minutes. It was a backpack that you could equip to let you see where the next zone was going to be. And it was a secret item Epic was working on until someone accidentally released it to the public. So they pretty much instantly had to remove it, but at least we got the Storm Scout Sniper a little later. But the Mushroom was only in the game for a day as well. They added this in game for the last week of Chapter 2 Season 2, and this little guy could have been found at Weeping Woods. But it had an insanely low spawn rate. Although, if you saw him, you could have fed him some wood and danced with him, and then he'd begin to follow you around for the rest of the match and heal your player whenever you would take damage. The Renegade and Aerial Assault Trooper are also among the rarest skins that players never see, because these skins were introduced in Season 1, back when there was a Season Shop. Since the game wasn't as popular back then, many players didn't care about buying the skins since they didn't know any of this stuff would be as popular. And now, these are the two rarest Fortnite skins that are never going to return again. And yeah, you know those skins, probably, but I'll show you a skin you didn't even know existed in a minute. But let's talk about the Mythic Mushroom first, because in Chapter 2, Season 3, Epic secretly added this into the game. This item had a very low chance of spawning, with odds as low as 1 in 10,000, and the low chances were why this thing gave you a higher reward, because if you found it, you would have gotten 100 shield instantly when you consumed the mushroom. But this didn't stay in the game for long, and it's probably never returning. On the other hand, the spiky stadium was in the game for a, a bit longer, but the item was only available in the playground game mode and could have only been obtained from vending machines. Then whenever you use this item, it would build a 7x11 sized stadium full of bouncers and traps, but it later got removed due to bugs and never returned. It's not even in creative to this day, so some players didn't even know this was a thing. Just like some of the OG traps, because in Season 1, we had a ton of OG traps that did not stay in the game for very long. One of those was the directional jump pad, basically an earlier version of the bouncer. Then we had the wall dynamo and the ceiling zapper that both only lasted for about a week. So 99% of players never got to use these items, and there's not even much footage of them. The same thing applies with the Zapatron. This was a legendary sniper rifle similar to the railgun that we had in Chapter 2 Season 7, because it used energy ammo just like the railgun. But Zapatrons could have only been found in supply drops. They were too overpowered, so Epic removed them a few days after they were added. And honestly, now barely anyone has ever gotten their hands on this item. We've also got the Black Widow skin, and I'm talking about the one they released in Chapter 1 Season 8, not the Chapter 2 Season 4 one. Because this skin came out in April 2019 when Fortnite did an Avengers Endgame collab, and it hasn't returned since that collab. So it's been well over a thousand days since the skin has been in the item shop, and no one even knows the exact reason why it won't return. Who knows, it might return sometime in the future. Unlike this one item, players forgot even existed. And I'm talking about the third version of the default dance. Just check this out. And they removed this version to avoid copyright issues since it was similar to a song named Faith by George Michael. So you can call yourself a true OG if you ever did this version of the default dance. And players usually remember all the live events, but not many remember the Wreck-It Ralph cameo, because back in Season 6, Wreck-It Ralph made a surprise appearance in Fortnite at Risky Reels due to the release of the second Wreck-It Ralph movie. And too many players didn't get the chance to see this since they quickly showed him moving across the screen. And that was it. At least they dropped a free item shop emote with this little collab. We have the Golden Umbrella too. And this is one of the rarest and most exclusive items in Fortnite that was available in a Fortnite LAN tournament in the early days. Because during LAN tournaments, pros would get an account with randomly selected cosmetics, so players weren't able to cheat in team. And some of the cosmetics could be unreleased, so some players had accounts with the secretly unreleased golden umbrella that magically disappeared. 
The Royale Bomber and Blue Team Leader are among the first promotional skins that Fortnite ever released, and these go down as a couple of the rarest skins, because the Blue Team Leader could have been unlocked for free if you had a PlayStation Plus membership back in Season 2 for a limited time, and the same goes with the Royale Bomber. But you could have only unlocked this skin by buying the Fortnite version of the PS4, which makes it even rarer. We also got the Twitch Prime skins back then as well, and you were able to unlock these skins if you had a Twitch Prime membership, so it was a pretty simple task since you could have gotten Twitch Prime for free. And they ran this promotion for about two seasons, releasing the Sub Commander and Havoc in the first pack, and the Trailblazer in the second pack. But out of nowhere, Fortnite randomly stopped releasing these skins. But they're nowhere near as rare as this one pickaxe I'll show you in a little. But let's talk about the Mako Glider first, because this was one of the game's first rare and exclusive items, since players got this glider for reaching level 25 in Season 1. And it's only been featured in the item shop one time, which was over four years ago by accident. And many players didn't even buy it then. Boomboxes and airstrikes are two of the most annoying and destructive items in Fortnite that they added for one update and removed the next patch, which haven't returned since then. So not a lot of players got to use them. The boombox would destroy builds in no time once thrown down, and there wasn't a way to destroy it. And the airstrike just nuked wherever you threw it, so no one really liked either of these items very much. But we all loved the see-through builds, including me, of course, because in the earlier days there was a time when the builds you placed were transparent. But Fortnite decided to remove this feature out of nowhere since people, especially pros, were taking advantage of this feature. Back then, you could easily camp in your builds while seeing everything around you just through your walls. And I'm surprised that the glow skin is as rare as it is. This skin could have been unlocked for free from owning almost any Samsung device. So, maybe not technically free. They released it during Season X, and players could have unlocked it and received a free emote and V-Bucks. Similar to the situation with other promotional items. But at one point, Fortnite had to remove the skin from some players' accounts since the code wasn't supposed to be activated yet. You have the exclusive Fortnite China items too, because China's gaming laws are so strict that the item shop didn't exist there for some time on their version. So Fortnite realized this and gave all the players in this region exclusive backblings and pickaxes that could have only been unlocked on the Chinese version of Fortnite, making them globally the rarest items in Fortnite. Although now I'm not even sure if these items count since Fortnite China doesn't exist anymore. The Porta Fortress is another one of those throwable items similar to the Porta Fort, but basically a boss version of it, because when thrown, it would create a huge fort with built-in bouncers all around it. And it didn't even last in the core playlist too long since they removed it two seasons later. This is one of those items many players could never use outside of creative. And I'll talk about the Save the World skins, since I never see anyone using these items. Because back in the earlier days, you'd see players using the Blue and Rose Team Leader skins since they could have been unlocked for free if you owned the Founders edition of Save the World. But it's like both of those items just randomly disappeared. Click the video on the screen before you go. Peace.